Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a review video here, but as some of you may know, I'm currently pregnant. And although I did post some updates regarding my IVF journey, I really wanted to get back to kind of what I started when I began my channel. And that was really doing reviews. Um, and so I'm hoping to be able to do more of these, but here I am. And I wanted to do an update video on a bag that's actually been quite popular um, in terms of viewership here on my channel. And that's my mini Kengen backpack. And some of you have requested an update on how it's held up, what I think about it after owning it for a while. So here we have it. As some of you may have watched, I started out with a black mini Kenken, which is this one over here. And I bought it, um, I wanna say a little bit over a year ago or about a year ago. And I shared in that video, a lot of things such as, you know, what fits, initial impression, so on and so forth. And since that video I have bought another one of these, this time in a lighter color. And so I'm just gonna walk you guys through what has changed in my opinion of the bag and then just do a quick what fits inside. Starting off with my original black Kankin bag. And again, this is the mini, so it does come in larger sizes. This bag I bought for a trip to California um, a while ago. And since then I have worn it a lot. So much so that I did end up getting my second one in the lighter blue. This one is actually in the blue rich color. And it's just this really bright, like cool blue color. The reason why I ended up buying a second one is because for the price point of $70, it is a pretty nice little bag. Um, it's very casual and it does fit a lot of things. Granted, there were some shortcomings that I shared in my video, such as the fading of the color and kind of how the bag sits uh, when worn on my back. But all in all, I think what I've kind of learned with this bag and my final thoughts on it is that for the price point that it is for $70, it is a pretty like, good quality bag um granted it still has some shortcomings so i'm not saying that because i bought a second one that it's perfect not really but i think for 70 dollars i'm not sure whether there are really nice alternatives um and i think you know I, it's just a really cute little bag that's compact doesn't take a lot of space when you pack it up um, and it can handle, I guess, being thrown around. So the blue bag here, I bought this in December of last year to take on a Hawaii trip. So I went to Hawaii um, at the end of last year. And for both of these, really, I would take them to the beach, throw them on the sand, um, you know, take them with me to hikes, things like that. So for the most part, they have withstood the wear and tear, I think. Both of these have been washed in the washing machine. I think the black one, maybe I've washed twice. And the blue one, I've only washed once following my trip from Hawaii. But one of my concerns, I think still, and again, it hasn't stopped me obviously from getting another one of these, is the fading of the material. I still think that it's a con for this bag, honestly. Um, granted, there hasn't been much change, I wanna say, from my last video. So if you guys take a close look at just how the bag looks in the front and even maybe like here on the side, um, the back. So there hasn't been much of a change in one year making the bag be more faded. If anything, I feel that it has retained kind of the level of fadiness that I realized once I first got the bag. So it hasn't necessarily gotten worse, but it's still something that I wish would be better in this bag. It's still, you know, it's not too bad. With the blue, I thought maybe if I bought like a brighter color, it wouldn't show the fading as much. And I think, I don't wanna say you notice it less. It still kind of has this fade aspect to it. And maybe it's just, I wanna say 
part of the character of the bag perhaps because it's more of a casual bag um, but there is some fading here as well I don't know if you'll be able to tell um, but we have here like in the corner I don't know if you'll be able to see it it's like some slight um, discoloration over here and this has been washed but you know um, it's just not like a solid, solid, solid blue. Here on the side, you may be able to tell a little bit of discoloration, but it's very minor, I think, honestly. If anything, I was just more taken aback when I first bought it because I thought it was just gonna be this like deep, deep, deep color. Um, and now that I've kind of learned that this is sort of what to expect, I don't care or mind too much but that is basically how the bag is holding up after this one I've had for um, about eight months or so and still looks pretty good um, the other con I still think is the um, length of the straps so they're still short but um, I think they're okay do I wish they would have been a little bit longer? Sure. But again, I think for the price point, for what fits, just for the looks of it, you know, it's something I can overlook along with the discoloration slightly. So it's not too bad. And I'll show you guys what it looks on in a second. But all in all, I think those are the only two cons I had in my last video. And I think they kind of remain the same. Although not necessarily something that I would say has stopped me from purchasing a second one or even recommending this bag. So I think at the end of the day, I still feel that it's a really good option if you want a compact, um, casual backpack. And I wouldn't be against even like purchasing another one. Um, I do wear these more than my long chomp um, backpack that I've reviewed here before as well. So I do prefer these uh, over the, any other backpack that I have. Although granted, the Long Chom I think is the only other one except my LV one, which is a completely different price point. Um, and otherwise, everything else from my last review remains true, that it's very roomy. And I'll quickly just do a little what fits inside for you guys. But if you haven't seen my previous video, I will link it in here so you could take a look. Um, but either way, I'll just do a quick one to just show you guys right here. So I'm going to use my blue backpack. And so inside, this is what it looks like. Again, it's been washed and still looking pretty good. No fraying of any kind. I haven't really stained it, which is good. Um, and granted, even though I've taken it to the beach and such, like still pretty good. In here, you can fit an iPad mini six. It's the sixth generation that I have. Plenty more room here. I can put my LV Victorine wallet in here as well. I can fit my Long Chomp um, cosmetic pouch. Kind of how it's looking. I also have a Ray-Ban sunglass case. Something like that. I could even put some snacks up here at the top if I wanted to, but I'm gonna put, I guess, this little bottle of water. So it all fits like that. And again, I can fit more, but I wouldn't normally put more things in here. Maybe if I'm going for a hike, I may put some apps uh, over here. Um, maybe some like sunscreen, I don't know. But the, the only thing is that it does get heavy. So I would be cognizant about stuffing this because even though it's a backpack, it will weigh you down. And I think actually my video I'm remembering now, I had a problem with how the cover for the zipper sort of sat. And I guess it's still something that's a little annoying, but again, not anything that would hinder me from buying this again. Does it get in the way sometimes? Sure, but it really depends if you mind how it looks because it, it may be a little like wrinkly, um, especially since I washed it perhaps. So it doesn't look very like nicely over the zipper, but I mean, it's kind of whatever, but this is how the bag looks with all the stuff in there. Um, we still have these little side pockets here, but as I mentioned in my previous review, 
It doesn't really fit a full-size water bottle here. It doesn't even fit the mini water bottle. So it just it just doesn't fit. So I still haven't really worn these side pockets really. Um, maybe I've put my sunglasses. So if you are wearing them in your head and for some reason you just don't want to wear them anymore, instead of opening the bag and putting it in the case, I guess you could just like slide them here. So it fits like that. But I'll just be cognizant of kind of squishing this for some reason. But a pair of sunglasses does fit nicely here on the side pocket. So, and there's two of those, right? I haven't really found myself using this front um, pocket over here, honestly. Like maybe I would keep if I'm if I'm in a hotel, for example, I may put the hotel card in here. Um, I keep it separate from my wallet. Um, so I may put that in here. But otherwise, I haven't really used this. So so I guess all in all, this backpack, I only use the main compartment, the sides and the front, not so much. Now I'm just going to try it on really quick so you guys see how it looks on. So again, the bag sits like right above my butt. So my butt's like it's kind of over here, so I guess it's a little bit above. That's what it looks like. The straps can begin slightly under your armpit, but it's not too bad. So yeah guys, this is my quick recap, review, and final thoughts on owning this bag. In closing, I do recommend it. It's sturdy, it's a casual bag at a good price point. It fits a lot of things. Um, granted, it's not perfect, but I still think that it's just a nice bag to have, especially if you're traveling. It just gets so compact that you can put it in a, your carry-on or you can even just put it on your checked bag. Um, but it doesn't take up a lot of room and overall it does the job well. If you can overlook some of the minor things that I talked about, such as the minor fading, the short straps, um, and I guess really like the little hood over the zipper, which to me after having owned um, you know, these bags for over a year, I think they're very minor compared to the usability that I get from these bags. But that's all for now, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.